How's it going, everyone? Welcome to Spurverts. It's me, Craig Mitz, joined by Emma Story. And on today's show, we're going to speak about our Spurs boys for England. Oh, yes. Yep. Mason to Bournemouth. There's rumours flying around about that. Another rumour, Son may be leaving. Mm. Mm. Uh, England social media bans. We're going to be talking about that as well. Ian Wright's article making Emma feel better. And Batshuayi scores his 24th goal of the season. And our scouts were there to see it. But let's kick it off. With our Spurs boys for England. How are you oh, feeling about that? Spurs boys for England. All five of them started on Sunday. How amazing is that? It's literally half the England team. Literally. Not what? quite literally, but almost well, literally. It, well, it is, because you can't have five and a half yeah, players, can true. you? Yeah, true, true. Can you? And if it playing. was six, it would be more than half. Yeah. So, actually, I'm, yeah, I'm going half. The it's so weird thing. seeing, like, that England photo at the beginning of the team, them all posing for the photo, and there's just so many Spurs players yeah, in there. It's, it's like, great. it's a it's proud like feeling. Spurs, 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 but it's brilliant. And, you know, obviously adding to the proud feeling is they all played really, really well. They did, they all did. All five of them. They all played 90 minutes as well, which was impressive. Do you think the England team should be built around them? Yes, well, I certainly think the spine of Kane, Ali and Dyer has to start against Russia and I think Hodgson would be a fool if he doesn't make that happen because I mean we saw with Kane's goal yeah. I mean we know it's offside we know we know we know but the link up play with Ali like they're so instinctive the two of them and when you've got Dyer sat behind them who played a brilliant game I yeah, actually he thought did, he, did. he should have been man of the match rather than Danny Rose I mean Danny Rose played well but it was a bit of a random choice from Glenn Hoddle I was a bit like mm, what really? But, uh, yeah. but you know but I think honestly those three that I think you build everybody else around that spine he that isn't going to start Ali, though. Well, why I mean, not? I, I'd want him to. We'd, I think everyone wants him to. But this the is, Rooney thing is so this, yeah, deep but you could play, and political. Yeah, but you could play Rooney off, you know, as long as Ali oh, sits well, in the hole behind. Well, kind of where Vardy played, which, nah, didn't, which Rooney, actually didn't which didn't work out as a very good um, nah. experiment, incidentally. Vardy didn't look awful until they switched to 4-4-2, and then yeah. he, he obviously got his goal. Um, I think... I, it, I, know, I know what everybody's saying about the Rooney thing. He's going to be... Here's 10. the difference between Ru uh, Hodgson being the Hodgson of old and everybody yep. being like, oh, God, here we go, so predictable, and Hodgson going, right, I'm going to be brave. Like, when, when we played Germany, that was the brave new world. That was a brave formation. Everybody yeah. went, oh, my God, look at us, and then we won. And it's like, if only, if only... So do you think he's going to take that leap of that. faith? Do you think he's going to do it? Probably not. He's not but I he? want him to. I'm saying he should. I think it will pay off, but... But Kane, Dyer, and Rose look... Certainties, would you reckon? Um, well, it's difficult with Rose because I feel like he should be the certainty, but Hodgson doesn't seem to necessarily rate him as a consistent first 11 starter, so I'm not sure it's difficult. I think our full, in fairness, the full... It's experience, isn't it? There, it's experience, and there's also its defensive capabilities. Like, we know how much Rose obviously likes charging over yeah. down on the overlap, and I think maybe Hodgson likes to play a little bit safer in the back yeah. four. Um, but in fairness, we have got... The, the, there's better strength and depth at the full-back position for England, I think. Mm than in the other roles, um, certainly in the in the back four. So I think, I mean, Kane, I think Kane and Dyer are, are definite 100% starters. Yeah. I think they'll all go. I don't think any of them will get dropped um, from the squad. But no, 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 they're all going, definitely. As I said, if it was me, I was, Dyer, Ali and Kane would have to start. Do you, do you think it's burning certain other fans, the fact that, you know, half the <laughs> team is Spurs? Well, it, it must be hard, like, because I know how I feel when I see Jack Wilshere playing for England. I like really, I don't like yeah, it. Yeah. Um, and obviously, but he's England, and I have to get on board with it. I have to put aside, you know. But that's just because he's that. a prick. I mean, yeah. our players aren't, aren't really, do you know what I mean? They don't really antagonise other fans and they're not really, do you know what I mean? No, All they do is no. play for Spurs. But yeah, no. Whereas okay. Jack Wilshere purposely goes out there and tries to be Mr. Awesome. Well, well, we wondered as well what it must be like as the players going into that environment. When you think about the fact, you know, like look at Kane and Vardy who are obviously battling for the league and the golden boot all yeah. season. They had a bit of social media. Bants over Lions. Bants. I mean, like how, when you rock up and it's like, right, mate. Got to put that behind. Right. Crack yeah, on. like how do you do it? I don't know. They do it somehow. They do it. They must they do somehow. it. But no, I mean, yeah, all, all in all, yep. there's definite stuff to work on for England. I think we've all agreed the defence was fairly shocking. Yeah. Um, but for our boys, I think really positive signs. They all played really well. I think they've all booked their places in that final squad. I definitely agree. All right, so speaking of England players, there's someone that was an England player and then he was a f consistent starter in the Spurs team and now he's completely fell out of favour. Had a very tough season, injury, came back, a lot of scrutiny and now he's being linked with a move to oh. Bournemouth, Ryan Mason. It feels like every week we talk about this guy, it's just a bit more I, oh. of him just leading away from Spurs. What, what's going on there? Do you think there's any truth in that? Yes, I do. I you do. have all the sources? I <laughs> Ketchup, mayonnaise, all, all of it? All the sources. Yep. Uh, yes, there is truth in it, but um, and it, it's just hard to talk about. We talked about it last week a little bit. Obviously, he's a proper academy lad, Spurs through and through. Him and Kane are great mates. They've come through together. Yeah. 
And obviously last season, he was fantastic. And it is so sad to see, obviously, a player going from being, you know, especially one of your own, yeah. like going from being first choice, playing fantastically, doing really well, to being, he's literally been, I mean, I know obviously injuries had a lot to do with it, but he's been a shadow of the player. He has. This season that he was last season. Every time he's been called upon, yeah. he's generally made mistakes. I think... Every time that we've brought him on as a substitute when we've been in like a winning position, we've ended up drawing or losing the match, which is, is gutting. And it's hard to see. I mean, I don't know if it's just because the injury was so bad. It took him such a long time to get back into it. But obviously as well, you know, the emergence of Dyer and Dembele as the defensive mid partnership and how absolutely brilliant both of them have been. I think yeah. it's kind of exposed him a bit. And the worry is, you know, we talked about it a little bit last week. when We talked about um, who we might potentially sign in the summer. Um if we're kicking on to Champions League level next season, as well as hopefully challenging for the top four again, can cut it? Can is he the adequate replacement? And the problem is, I don't, I, I don't, don't think, think so. he I is. I don't think he is either. Which is really sad. I mean, Bournemouth would be a good move. So do you think he's Bournemouth calibre? Yes. Or is that? Oh, is that? Yes. Is that a bit harsh. No, better than Bournemouth. I think it would be a good signing for Bournemouth. And the thing for him, you don't think he could do like an Everton a team that's just maybe a, just a step up from here? Well, you say a step up. I mean, Everton are pretty much disarray at the moment. Yeah. They've had, I mean, Bournemouth, Bournemouth work hard, they pass well. They've got a great Eddie young Howe. manager as well. Like, yeah. you know, they played a lot of really good football last season. Um, some of their results didn't really reflect how well that they played. But just in terms of club stature, that is like a, I mean, they were almost non-existent a few years ago. They no, were almost gone. I know, but isn't that great? It like, is, it's I a mean, great story. Yeah. But in terms of Ryan Mason's career, it, it's, a, it's a huge step back. Yes, but would you want to go to a team where you're going to be a guaranteed starter, where you're going to get to play some attractive football and where yeah. you're potentially going to be always moving upwards and forwards as opposed to, I mean, let's face it, if we look at like John Stones at Everton last, you know, last yeah. season just gone, it's completely flatlined. I mean, I yeah. know a lot's had to do possibly with how he's been coached and managed and all that sort of thing. But, you know, I know Everton are a, are a big club, yep. traditionally, but for the development, Ryan Mason's still only young, he's only 23. He is young. 23, 24. So the like, thing is, he can look over know. at Andros Townsend as well, who actually took a step back, went to Newcastle, yeah, and then he still and, got and into the England got squad. England squad, exactly. So, yeah, yeah, so, there's, there's a blueprint there, maybe. I think as well as, you know, the new TV deal coming in um, yeah. this season means that every single club is rich now, quite frankly. There's, mm. no, there's no such thing as poor clubs in the Premier League anymore. Not at all. Um, and therefore, I think it's more of a level playing field than it has been yeah. in the past. So, to be honest, I think it would be a good move for Ryan Mason. I'm putting it out there. Interesting. Let us know in the comments <laughs> below if you think Ryan Mason should go to Bournemouth and if you think you will go. All right, so next, Son. So there's rumours yeah. that Hyung Min Son, after just one season with us, is apparently linked with a move away. There's no one said any teams. It's come out of nowhere and he's addressed it. He yeah. said, you know what, quite frankly, I'm early thinking about this. It's, it's kind of ridiculous. It's just like my club will sort this out. Yeah, that's it's not even, my club will, it's, my it's, club will sort this it's, out. I mean, come it's on, fine. seriously, he, record fee? It's utter, it's, it wasn't a record it fee, but it was up there. It was up there, though. It was, it was <laughs> quite expensive. It's utterly ridiculous. Like, there, there were the, the rumours doing the rounds post the Newcastle game that Pochettino yeah. was so furious with his performance that he was like, right, I'm going to sell him. I mean, come on, people. Like, pull yourselves together. For a start, every single player on was that shocking. field against Newcastle deserves it's to be sold on that could basis. It's crazy how they could single just him out. You can't. I think, you know, it's, and Pochettino's not the kind of man to make a snap decision, a snap yeah. judgment like that. He thinks things through. It's ridiculous. And to be honest, like, Son has done really well, the I two, think. The two games he came in for... for who did he come in for? Deli Ali. <laughs> Chelsea and Southampton, he scored. He scored. He scored. That's all he can really do. And I mean, completely. And before he got injured, he was playing really, really well. Like yeah, the injury came at an unfortunate time for him, and it took him a long time to then kind of yeah. get back afterwards because then obviously he wasn't going to start. And yeah, the kind of team we have at the moment, if you go out, you get injured. Yeah, that's it. It's hard to get back in. And, and so I away. think it's utterly ridiculous that people were even talking about it. So I'm kind of quite glad yeah. that he's just come out and gone, nah. Because it is rubbish. I I don't think there is any way that he'll be sold this season. Nah, I mean, we ain't even got that many wingers anyway. Well, so yeah, like, exactly. And like not... forward players, I mean, let's face it, we're yeah. not exactly blessed yeah. in the strength and depth department there yet. Hopefully we will be. Plus he's Asian Football of the Year. Why would we sell that? <laughs> that's, just a, that's just a great commodity to have, you know. And, we're, also, we're... and also, what would Kevin Fimmer do? We can't sell. Exactly. We just bro. tear up the bromance. We can't do it. Son... You're not no. going nowhere, mate. You're, You're not going, going nowhere. nowhere. All right, so nowhere. back to England. We go from Son back to England, yes. all the social media bands. Well, we're talking about bromance, aren't we? Back to bromance. Bromance. You know, it's been a while since I talked about Ellie. Yeah. Dire Alley bromance, but... Have we got a name for them? 
you know, like a Bradgelina or a, a Benefar. Could what, we, what could, could we how could we mer- merge them? D- Dali? No, D- no, no. Dali? 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 No, so we can't. Can, can you? Can you, you can that's you what you need to do. That is your homework. We need a name. Merge them. A name for the two of them. Uh, yeah, so uh, England have now got involved mm. in the social ma- media bands with uh, Delhi and Eric. And uh, England put up a nice little training vid. Delhi yeah. Ali doing his thing. Scored. Do, do you know what I don't like, though? Oh. And this is me going back to being a bit... So throughout the season, we was doing all those bants on Spurs TV. Oh, great, let's do this, let's have fun. And our season was going amazing. Your, your voice when is it, getting really high pitched now. When it got way. to that stage of the season where things were getting tricky and the mind games were playing and they were kind of, not kind of bottling it, where were all the Spurs TV vids? Why don't you step out and just try and get back to that mind frame of having fun with it? Oh, our season goes up in flames and then they bring it over to England now. Voxel, England TV, oh, we're going to do it over here now and have fun in games. I, I don't know. Why? Why do you know it's so annoying. They should have just done that throughout the whole season. Just had that carefree attitude. And maybe we would have just... Yeah, but the... then would that not have been equivalent to like, you know, obviously if you watch the FA Cup final on Saturday when Alan Pard, you uh, danced oh my God. after Palace scored. Yeah. And yeah. then they went on to lose and he'll now be haunted by that for the rest of his career. Yeah, we'd they would have like, We're haunted either we'd, way. We're having, haunted either way. If we'd been having banter videos on the morning of Newcastle and then look what happened. Yeah. I mean, come on. You've got a point. You got I a have point. got a point. You have got a point. But to go back to the England one, like I said, we had a nice little England training vid. Deli yeah. Ali doing his thing, scores himself a cute little goal, finishes it from about a yard out. Yeah. You know, England tweet, like, yeah, great, you know, great, great goal, Delhi. Great, great, great finish, great Delhi. Goal. Eric Dyer just steps back in. Well, it's about time he scored from that distance. <laughs> <laughs> and he added England in the tweet as well, yeah, along with did, no chill, did. no chill. But, but what did Deli Ali say? The Deli Ali comes back. Well, it's about time you said something funny. Oh, my God. These Ouch. guys love it. They love it. They love they the RTs and the likes and the faves it. and the followers. Yeah, they I are think that's what they're it. out there for. That's why it's the ultimate bromance. And then Spurs. what happened with Harry Kane and Deli Ali? Ah, yes. Yeah, Deli Ali, centre of all social media well, he's just moment. that guy right now. Yeah, um, more England training. Yeah. Deli Ali had a penalty shootout where he put Harry Kane in goal. Could yeah. he beat Harry Kane? Now, I mean, we've had Harry Kane in goal before. Oh, yeah, we have, of course, you're open. We have, you know, and he was spectacular. Yeah, he only conceded one goal. Yeah. Kind of. So he's in goal. Deli Ali's the penalty taker. Yeah. Do we think Deli Ali could score against Harry Kane? Did he? You would think yes. He's Deli Ali. He's Deli Ali. Harry's not a goalkeeper. No. You'd think. No. Of course not. Three times he tried. He tried. And Harry just literally... He didn't even break a sweat. Not even a sweat. Just pinged it away. Didn't With even his have feet. His hands. Just like this. Yeah. <laughs> and I think Harry's tweet afterwards was, uh, I can read him like a book. Well, clearly... I should think so. You spent <laughs> enough time with him, Harry. Flipping hell, it's been about nine months or a year. C- come on. Obviously, you should be able to read him. The point is, it's good to see, I think, that they've kind of recovered a bit from what obviously happened. Is it only our players that are doing it? Or is this general well, England that, squad I mean, there's general, antics? I, I think there's general England squad antics, but I think our players, obviously, knowing each other the, the most. They've just got are, the most personality. Yeah, you know, and most banter. Not, you know what? I'm not in a place where I can compliment you guys yet, so I'm going to stop He's right there. He's getting there, though. He's getting there. Shh. Anyway, so now, unfortunately, we have to talk about a Woolwich legend. Uh, goes by the name of Ian Wrong. I'm joking. Ian Wright. Hey. And uh, yeah, he did an article. But this is the... He did an article. But what paper was the article in? It's in the sun. Sorry, it's here. Um, so he did an article in the sun or he the moon that. or whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, and uh, what did he say? Because it cheered you up. Well, this is the thing. Like, everybody knows if you watched Spurvets last week, you would have seen how utterly devastated we were, particularly Craig, who had a face like this. Devastate is like? an understatement. What was your face like last week? Yeah, pretty much. You should watch it. It's interesting. Uh, but the thing was, we were all very, very, very depressed last week. And I was struggling <sighs> to see how I was going to get past and get over what had happened. I'm not there yet, just to say. But the first person to make me feel better about our season was Ian Wright. Ian Wright is now your therapist. It was like, he wrote this article in the sun where he basically said, Arsenal and Chelsea, like, taking the mick out of Spurs and laughing at him, he said, it's small club mentality. It shows how far Tottenham have come. They're going to have the last laugh. Arsenal and Chelsea are all over the shop. Tottenham know where they're going, what they're doing. They're getting better every season. He was just like, they can mock them all they want. He actually said, you know, the whole thing about Arsenal finishing above Spurs. Like, he said, when he was a player at Arsenal... They used to laugh at the fact that Spurs would always be obsessed about doing well against them and not their own season. And he was like, that's what Arsenal have become against yeah, Spurs. They All have. they care about is whether they're you know, doing better than us. They don't care about the fact that they haven't won the league for years and they've been going backwards at a rate of knots for years. And, you know, and he said it's small club mentality. They're becoming a small club. 
Do you know what's annoying though? A lot of the Arsenal fans, <laughs> I know, that's read the article, they a... haven't taken that on board though. But this is an Arsenal legend saying this. I know. And I mean, fair play, because, you know, as we obviously had very much struggle to try and contain our emotions, he's obviously an Arsenal fan. It must have killed him to write I such glowing praise of Spurs. Do you not think? think? It, no, I don't think it did. I but, think he wanted to do it. But you should read the article. Like I said, it actually, I couldn't believe it. I sort of got to the end and was like, I don't feel quite so terrible. So, like, I'd like slightly back from the edge. Only so he helped you bit, out. But he did. Guru Ian. Ian Wright helped me wow, out. Wow, who would have thought? Who, who would have thought? thought? Ian, who would have thought keep it? writing articles in another newspaper. All right, anyway, <laughs> on to the last topic of Swerverts. And Batshuayi, I hope I pronounced it right, scored his 24th goal. Yes, and we were there. Scouts were there. We were there. Have to a look see at it. it. French Cup final. We know we've been, be, been, I can't, oh, I always struggle to get my words out once I get to this stage of the video. I don't know what it is. Oh, you can get what it is. Um, we have obviously been linked with him. Uh, for, a little, for, for, a li for a little while now. For a little while now. Uh, 30 million, we're reckon reckoning. Wow. Will be around the asking price. So it would be a club record. Um, but, we you know, we have had negotiations with him and his people. How old is he? Uh, you know? 20... He's young. He's young. He is young. He's Sorry, young. he's young. I think and he's Belgian. Of course. Of course. We know how the Belgian bromance goes. The contingent goes. is there. England and Belgian contingent. I mean, I think, you know, more importantly, he's the kind of player, I think, who kind of fits the potch mould. We talked about this before. Um, being young, being versatile, being, you know, the kind of guy who wants to chase the ball down. 30 million. Fight for it. I 30 know, million. I know. Young. Yeah. 24 goals. Yeah. Would he want to start behind Harry Kane? Well, now, this is the debate. This is the problem. This is the problem. But having said that, it is the fact that he is really young. And also, Marseille are in quite a lot of um, financial trouble. Uh -huh. And so, could be persuaded a bit, uh, to... wedge. Well, yeah. Because they need it, quite frankly. Um, so, I mean, I think... You know, we're clearly monitoring him very closely. We're not the only ones. Admittedly, there are other Premier League clubs interested. Well, I mean, we need a striker. But we're we do need a striker. Need. And the thing is, we, you know, and again, we've talked about this, because we've now got Champions League football, um, you're no longer saying that, oh, Harry Kane's going to start every single game, because yeah. he can't. And obviously, no, can't. you're going to want to play your strongest side in the Champions League. But that means that for a lot of Premier League games, you're going to need really good quality of course, backup. Like we and can that's where he would with... come in. And, you know, the idea of playing like 20 Premier League games, starting 20 Premier League games in a season actually could be a real incentive for him. Yeah, Everyone knows, definitely. you know, the French League is does not have the strength and depth that the Premier League does. No, nope, so doesn't have the money that we have. Doesn't have the money the that TV we have. The TV rights. Exactly. How about that? And also, you know, no one has the Belgian bromance the way that Spurs does. Exactly. So if I was him... He's going he's gonna to slot straight in. Yeah, absolutely. Go on Spurs TV, do a full <laughs> band of full videos, have fun with the lads. I can see already. No, do you think he's going to come? How likely is it on your I radar? I think it's quite likely. I think it's quite likely. I think there's going to be issues with the fee, obviously, because, you know, it's Levy. We know how. Levy, we know how. This do you know how much money we're going to be getting no, from Champions League well, and TV also, rights right yeah, now? We do also, you and know. when we get to the semis, do you know how much money we're going to have from being in the semis to the Champions League, Levy? Don't start this. Don't start we're, this we're gonna already. Have money. We're gonna Don't have wedge. start this already. We are going to have wedge, but so is everybody else. So true. just bear that in mind. Yeah, and we've got a stadium to build. Flipping off. I forgot about the stadium. The stadium. Yeah, which, don't worry. We're going to have an oligarch come in and just... They're properly... Like, there's real real pictures of the of the northeast corner coming down now. There's all sorts of seats ripped out, about two blocks worth now. It's really sad. Shedding the tea. Oh, yeah. Anyway, God. anyway. Yes, sorry. Uh, no, I do think it's quite likely. I, yep. I, yeah. I, but I think the money is obviously going to be the issue, but it always is with us. I so. take him and Vitzel. Anyway, guys, let us know <laughs> in the comments below about everything we've talked about. I mean, Ian Wright, did you take solace from his article? Um, Spurs, are players just playing for England? Completely dominate it. Do you think there's any truth in Hyung Min Son leaving the doors? He can't be. And Batshuayi, would you take him? And just let us know in the comments below. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure you drop it a like. If you're new to Spurred On, make sure you subscribe. Keep it casual. Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred On, and this is another edition, first edition of the summer, in fact, of Tottenham Transfer Talk with Greg Stobart from Squawker. Greg, how are you? I'm very good, thank you, Barnaby. It's lovely to have you back.